UFC 301 Pantoja vs. Urseg took place on May 4th in front of a sold-out Farmacy Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The gate was not released, but the event made at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention pay-per-view revenue, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? International commissions typically do not disclose fighter pay information, so the purses I'll be showing in this video are just estimates based on past disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, Kyle Bahalio's striking was on point against fellow middleweight Paul Craig in the first round. Craig's timing appeared to be improving in the second, but two minutes in, Bahalio landed a straight left that crumpled Craig against the cage and required no follow-up shots, giving Kayo the knockout win. Craig earned $98,000 to show and $16,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $114,000. While Bahalio made $36,000 to show and $36,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship, along with the performance of the night bonus, and a total of $128,000. The second fight saw Michelle Ferreira at middleweight make quick work of Ihor Potieria. In just 54 seconds, he scored a knockdown off a jab and then locked in a standing guillotine that put Potieria to sleep. There was some controversy over a potential illegal knee to a grounded opponent, but ultimately it didn't change the result as Pereira walked away with the submission victory. Potieria brought in $28,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship for $34,000 on the night. While Pereira earned $74,000 to show and another $74,000 for the win, along with $11,000 in Venom sponsorship and a $50K performance of the night bonus for a total of $209,000. The third fight ended in a second straight guillotine choke finish as plus 400 underdog Anthony Smith got it done against the undefeated Vitor Petrino in the first round. After a few striking exchanges, Petrino attempted to dump Smith on the ground, neglecting to protect his neck in the process, resulting in the submission finish. Petrino earned $30,000 to show and $4,500 in sponsorship for a total of $34,500. And the winner, Anthony Smith, brought home $210,000 to show and another 100k for the win, the maximum non-championship $21,000 in sponsorship, and a total of $331,000. The volume in the arena got kicked up a notch as the legend Jose Aldo made his walk to take on Jonathan Martinez in the co-main event. After a close first round, Aldo opened it up in the second and at 37 years old, looked as quick as ever in the striking game. The action continued in the third, with Jose landing big shots and finished the fight controlling Martinez on the ground for the unanimous decision victory. Martinez took home $68,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship for $79,000 on the night. While the former champ and king of Rio, Jose Aldo, made $400,000 guaranteed, along with $21,000 in sponsorship, for the biggest paycheck of the night at $421,000. Before we get into the main event, 10 seconds from this video sponsored Dubby. If you're like me and you enjoy a good energy drink for those late night editing sessions, give Dubby a try. Use the code MMA Money for 10% off your order at Dubby.gg. Now back to the video. The fight started lightning fast, with both men landing combos, and Pantoja mixing in his grappling towards the end of the round. The pace continued in the second and third, with Urseg opening up a nasty cut on Pantoja's forehead, but Alessandre seemingly up on the scorecards. The momentum shifted in the championship rounds, with several of Urseg's shots landing flush, but the fight ended on the ground with Pantoja on top. The scorecards came down as a unanimous decision win for Alessandre Pantoja. We know from comments made by former longtime champion Demetrius Johnson and disclosed pay from flyweight championship fights as recently as UFC 270 that flyweights are woefully underpaid compared to the other weight classes. Even with this being a main event, Urseg likely only received $100,000 to show and $32,000 in sponsorship for a total of $132,000. And still, the UFC flyweight champion Alessandre Pantoja took home $250,000 guaranteed, along with $42,000 in sponsorship. And we also know that flyweights usually do not receive pay-per-view points, but even if Pantoja did for this title defense, based on the star power of the card, the buy rate may not have even exceeded the threshold to earn points. However, for the sake of this estimate, if we assume that Pantoja did and the card sold around 250,000 buys, that would net him another $50,000 giving the champ a grand total of 342,000. 
That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC Fight Night, Lewis versus Nascimento.